past two days of this important business investment conference in Brisbane's South Bank area turned out to be a success. Prime Minister James Marape, who was unable to physically attend the conference, connected via Zoom and delivered his closing remarks. He believes taking his time to address the conference adds value to continued dialogue and business engagement to support PNG's growth and prosperity into the future. Mr. Marape reiterates earlier calls shared by other speakers to embrace the use of information and communications technology for seamless business interactions and others, some of the good lessons COVID-19 has taught. Our country is still rebounding from the COVID-19 impacts. Uh, government has utilized our fiscal policy to ensure economy remains, uh, remains on, on track for growth. Last year, we did post almost 6% GDP growth uh, in as far as my records are concerned. That indicates that uh, we are rebounding from COVID. We're mindful that the effect of global uh, shocks, whether it's man-made shock like the wars taking place in other parts of the world or natural disasters, uh, does have an impact on a small economy like PNG, where we are import dependent. And in this sort of context, government is all, always on a lookout to assist investors and to ensure uh, new policy inputs are thrown in to address some of the shocks that may be imported into economy or, or the shocks that we generate ourselves. He says one of such is the January 10th civil unrest, which has significantly affected operations of businesses in the country. However, Mr. Marpe says the government has stepped in to assist. Our government has given assistance to businesses who have fallen victim to the January 10th event. This just indicates to all of you who are investing in Papua New Guinea that government is not detached or divorced from uh, business. Uh, in a small economy like PNG, government has a number one role to protect investors and to ensure their safety and upkeep in our country is okay. He assured potential investors that the country is not a new investment destination and is aware of the challenges that exist. The Prime Minister says the country is looking forward to address the challenges, the main one being lawlessness in unlocking future opportunities. Susan Kania, NBC National News, Brisbane.